Hi everyone, Home Business Expert here, Amy Hunt. What I want to introduce to you today is a brand new tool that can help you find products to list as a drop shipper on Amazon. This is kind of a new concept, just when I say kind of, I mean within the last few months. So don't look anywhere else, look to the rest of this video for a brand new widget that has just been released, brand new to the market. You're one of the first people to learn about this widget. If you could, drop in the description below. Tell me, are you an Amazon FBA seller? Do you do Amazon selling and have your products at home? Do you do drop shipping or none of the above? I'm curious to see who my uh, audience is and I want to know how I can target some of the future videos. If you have an idea for a video or a need for a video, just let me know in the comments below. So like I said, I'm going to teach you a compelling way to find new items to drop ship quickly with pinpoint accuracy on how much money you can make based on whatever price you put in there. All right, so what this widget does and how you get it. Look in the description bo below for a link. Right now, that's the only way you can get this widget. So what this widget does is it goes in and it will give you instant information on products. So with AMZ Scout, if you go to any of these sites, you have this little pop-up. I have AMZ Scout Pro. And it gives you information on products that you can sell. And I'm just going to take, for example, um, let's just look at, I don't exactly like featured because they're paid for products. So I want to go, let's go to high to low. So oftentimes what I do is I find more expensive products because a lot of people like to stay away from those. It might not do like in the thousands. But let's just scroll down and maybe get something in the hundreds. And let's just see what this would look like. I'm going to just click on this uh, DuPont a Deffy Millennium Duffel Bag. And then basically what this video is going to show you is how this widget works. This isn't exactly a great product to sell necessarily, um, but we'll just go through and pick it apart and see what makes it a good or bad product. So what this widget does is it shows you how many fulfilled by merchants, how many are fulfilled by Amazon, and whether or not Amazon sells it. Now, Amazon does sell it, so for me, that's a red flag because they're going to get the buy box, basically. But let me just go through and show you how this would work. So this shows you who has the buy box. Is it a merchant, like somebody who has their product at home or is drop shipping? Is it a fulfillment by Amazon, which means it's in a wholesale or warehouse? Or is it Amazon that actually has it and sells it? So right now, Amazon owns the buy box, and they're probably not going to lose it. I wouldn't necessarily pick this product but I'm gonna just show you how you would manipulate and use the information. So all these boxes up here, you can actually change the numbers to make it more effective to you. So the buy box, we're not gonna manipulate. The minimum price that you can um, actually buy this, pro buy this product for. So what you're gonna do is plug it in, like let's just say you can buy this for 500, which is possible. The fees might be $75 and it's instantly going to get your profit in your net. So your costs, uh, let's just say it costs, you know, you're, you're adding um, not only the fees from Amazon, which is 15% generally, which is that number there, but let's just say there's a $15 shipping cost. Your net profit is going to be based on this other information and then you're gonna see your ROI or your return on investment. So your minimum net is gonna be $410. So that is how you can find out whether or not you can pinpoint if your product is gonna sell and what it's gonna make for you. In this little widget that you have, again, if you want it, look in the description. You can click on this and it gives you information for all of these. So you will know, you know, it's like a little tutorial and it helps you understand what all these numbers are. So let's close that. And then if you go over here, it also gives you the ASIN. It tells you whether or not it's a gated product. And what that means is gated products. If this says this is a gated product, then you cannot sell it unless you request permission and give Amazon a reason why you are okay to sell it. And there's a lot of restrictions, not a ton, but there are restrictions on certain either brands or types of products or um, like food and that kind of thing. You have to apply for certain things. It shows you whether or not it's private labeled, which is good. This is the trademark, so you can check whether or not it's trademarked. And I'll show you real quick what that would look like. 
you, it just takes you to the trade Markio, which is a website that identifies whether or not this is okay to sell. Just have to look into that more. It's not something I've totally looked into because basically when they gate something on Amazon, you can't sell it. Is it hazmat? You don't want to mess with things that are hazmat. Generally, I used to have a product that I have to fill out all this kind of information to ship it because it had uh, batteries in it. So here's again another tutorial to show you what all this stuff means and then it gives you the ranking. So one additional thing and one of the things I always like about AMZ Scout is the clean look that it has, the simplicity in terms of how easy it is for you and I to use it. And then if we get stuck, there's tutorials, which is amazing. So what this 11 free launches left means, this is a free trial and you get to use it and you get to use it and try it out and see what you want. If you can, you can click and upgrade uh, your account, your AMZ Scout account, and you can get this for a continuous amount of time to get an instant amount of feedback on whether or not a, prof a product is profitable. How do you find these products? Check out my other videos or go to my course to find out how you can pinpoint products easily, quickly to either drop ship or sell for Amazon FBA. Let's just go back and do one more example on how I find products using Amazon FBA. And again, now they have a widget and I'm just going to go back and I did a clear, cleared search. Uh, let's just do, let's do a home video camera. I, I had looked that up last week and then I come down here, I click on the AMZ Scout Pro. Again, I'm really looking into just finding uh, a product to show you the widget on how to find stuff quickly. And I'm going to do what's good for me for drop shipping. I'm going to scroll over and I know I can get this somewhere quickly and easily on AliExpress because I've done it before. I'm going to click on that product and I'm going to wait for the widget to work its thing. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into a little bit more depth on this one. There's only two people selling this particular product. Amazon is not selling it and no merchants are drop shipping it. So how would I go about getting this product? I would actually, and it's number 21. So this looks like something that might be interesting to sell. So I go back here and I go back into this and I go to find it on Alibaba. And what you're going to see is the product listed there and how many you can get and what the costs are. And you can scroll through and get what's close, closest to uh, the product that you're looking at. I would say it would be this one. So I can get them close to $20. And what are they selling for? $50. So when I go back to the spy camera area, I'm going to just put in the, the fees and the cost. So the $19.90. So what you're going to see is it's going to automate and calculate and minimum net is per order. I'm going to get 1411 an ROI of 151.21. So that's how you would find products. And once you find that product, again, look at some of my other videos on how to list that product quickly. You can either list it in eBay or you can just scroll down and sell on Amazon and list that product and get it either shipped from Alibaba and do FBA with them. There's not a whole lot of competition or have it shipped to your house and uh, sell it and ship it from your home. Hopefully that shows you how valuable this little widget to help you pinpoint and find products and see your profits by quickly. It just instantly pops that widget up, which is an extension that helps you find profitable products. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you learn how you can find some products with a quick tool called a widget through AMZ Scout. And what they're going to do is help you find those products that you want to drop ship. If you're interested in signing up for it, please look in the description below. That gives me a big help. Also, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.